All right. Anthony Joshua versus Usyk is going to happen in September. This date doesn't really make sense to me, and I'll explain. But before I do that, hit the thumbs up, sub, and hit the notification bell. That way you can get updated when I drop the newest content like this. As I was saying, it doesn't really make sense to me that they would be fighting in September. Anthony Joshua was supposedly already getting ready to fight Tyson Fury, which means he had started his camp. So why would you go all the way to September, especially knowing that Deontay Wilder Tyson Fury 3 is going to happen in July? So pretty much what this does is it makes it where Undisputed doesn't happen until next year. That's how I'm looking at it, because there's no way if Anthony Joshua fights in September, he's going to fight again this year. It's just, it's not going to happen. So again, I ask the question, why is he fighting in September instead of like August? July? Like, he could have been fighting around the same time as Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. July, August, I just, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. You could have eked out another fight at the end of the year this year, say December fight. And that would do big numbers in December because you got Christmas coming up whenever people are used to spending a lot of money. So I just, I don't understand the timing. I'm happy that he's going to be fighting Usyk. I'm happy that he's not going to be vacating a title because it did seem and appear that I'm not saying Anthony Joshua didn't want the fight, but it it was seeming like Eddie Hearn really had reservations about making the fight happen between him and Usyk. And I don't know if that's because Eddie Hearn sees something in, in Usyk that he just doesn't think matches up well against Anthony Joshua or what. But again, it's a good thing it's happening. It's just I don't understand why the fight would be happening in September versus Like I said, July, August time frame. That way you could have another fight come December and get undisputed by the end of the year. Because at the end of the day, how I see it is the winner out of Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder is going to have to fight Dillian White now. Because his mandatory slot is going to be up. So maybe that's Eddie Hearn's plans to, to get Dillian White to fight the winner and pray that he wins to get a, like, all in-house fight for undisputed against Anthony Joshua. But even then, it doesn't really make sense because if Dillian White wins against either one, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, then there's going to be a rematch. So (laughs) that means that you would be looking at the end of 2022 by the time that you get undisputed. And that's assuming that AJ holds on to all the titles as well. And that's assuming that you don't have a trilogy where, say, Dillian White wins, then Fury Wilder wins, then Dillian White gets a rematch because of that. Like, I don't know, man. This shit. I don't think we're ever going to see Undisputed, guys. I I just, I don't know, man. It's going to be at least another year how it looks like the time is going to play out. Like, I I just, I don't get it. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Do y'all think it's going to happen soon? Do y'all think it's going to trump the Dillian White mandatory slot? How do y'all see it going? Do you think it'll be Dillian White versus the winner out of Fury Wilder? Or or do you think they just don't fight him at all and then they go straight to AJ? Do you think AJ should have been fighting sooner so you wouldn't have to worry about that? That he should have been fighting around the July, August time frame like I do? Again, let me know what y'all think in the comment section.